Steve Mignani here for the Acid or Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde event. This is item number 150, and this is a 1956 Dodge Lancer Custom Royal, pretty much the top of the line. Now this is a restoration, clearly. We have the green and the white, uh, Kelsey Hayes style wire wheels, which were a factory option, wide whites. These are BF Goodrich Silvertown radial, so they're old look, modern ride, very nice. Uh, looks to be very, very much rust free. Under the paint, let's find out what we have in terms of magnetic appeal. Okay, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Magnet sticking real nice, bottom of the door. Magnet sticking really well. Very good, and again, this is a two-door hardtop, which was a very advanced body style for its day. Put the windows down. There's no post to obstruct the flow of air and vision. And inside, wow, uh, come on through here if you would. And the interior on this one is very, very nice. The door panels are original style, perhaps even the original stuff. Uh, nice bench seat up front. Uh, suicide knob on the steering wheel, a classic addition. Automatic, the push button, uh, two speed power flight, low and drive and neutral and reverse. Uh, I do see air conditioning ducts. We'll find out what that's about in a moment. Uh, it has, um, yeah, the fan. I don't see a radio. This might be a radio delete car, not sure, but the interior looks really nice. Great chrome on the dash. Let's continue with the magnet. Classic rust spots on these cars are over the wheel lips, like in this area here. The magnet's doing a nice job of sticking. I don't see any signs of bubbling. That's good. Custom Royal. Twin antennae. There might be a hidden stereo on this one. Not sure. Let's look inside the trunk. Beautiful here. Nice chrome. Dual exhaust. We'll find out what the engine is in a second. That's the most important part in the trunk. Yes. A Chrysler Air Temp air conditioner unit. Very nice. Uh, fender skirts. Okay, these go with the car. They're dusty, but they're nice and clean. They're made of metal, no fiberglass, no rust. Uh, under the trunk mat, which is the original factory trunk mat, this vinyl piece. Let's take a peek at the floor. Okay, it's been painted, but it does look like it's solid metal. Looks good to me. Uh, another, this is the fifth BF Goodrich Silvertown radial wide white. Nice. Let's go to the other side. Great chrome, all these details are in nice shape, no pitting. Quarter panels back here, the magnet sticking. That's, oop, nice sign. Yeah, that's, that's good, looking good. Down here, oop. Okay, there might be, yeah, there might be some filler. Well, yeah, right here, there might, might have been some patchwork here during the restoration. But again, no bubbling, if it's done properly, it's not an issue at all, looks good to me. Inside again, I love the uh, Dodge logos on the rocker sills. That's all factory stuff. And uh, let's now look under the hood for the heart of the matter. Okay. Pop that hood open. And Okay, nice. This is interesting. It's a red Ram Hemi. We can see here the big broad Hemi. Aluminum intake manifold of some kind. And this is a modern EFI, electronic fuel injection. It's a two-bore uh, throttle body type EFI. Uh, I see an MSD, so it's probably got an uh, electronic ignition conversion. And uh, yeah, power brakes and billet pulleys. And it's nice to see. Uh, it's got fuel injection, but again, no LS swap. It has a real deal Dodge Baby Hemi engine. So this is lot number 150. What a nice 50s cruiser.